50 yards. Huge man. They all seem to be enormous. Coming from Croatia. Six foot four he is. That's about the same as Goran was. Whoa. Yeah, well that's shorter than shorter than Ancic at, at six five and a veritable Titch compared to Karlovic, who's yes. six foot ten. Yeah, I know. You set a trend, you know, Peter. Your date, six five. Yeah, they all want to be like me. Yeah. Don't you? Some players come out and look as though they're going to stuttering a bit on the service action. This is just like he's poured some oil inside himself. Beautiful action. shot was even better than he intended. It couldn't have been any better anyway. 13, 14. Well, as the boys were talking about in the studio, I have a feeling that he's going to intend to make a lot of very good shots today because anything less will not be good enough. First game, break point. Ah. And that is always a signal, apparently, for this Jeez. fella to turn it on and serve even better. What a lovely touch. And you can see Federer here, very well balanced, but, but just so confident the belief he has doesn't feel like he must do this or that just plays the shot that comes into his head Good first game, one on serve, one love. First game. 50. There are two keys in this match for Lubacic. This is the first one. Can he win enough cheap points off the first serve? And secondly, can he win rallies off the ground when he's had to put a second serve in play? If he can't do both of those, it could be a long day for him. If he can, it's anyone's match. Well, pretty flat. His head. Good serving, good service game, and that will have calmed uh, whatever nerves he had, as the guys were talking about, they all have nerves. One game. When they settle down normally about the two-all situation, Peter. Yeah, exactly right, that's a, a comforting start for Lubacic.
15 love. Well, simply, simply sensational tennis. It's sort of more reticent to break it out in a big match. Oh, what a pity for him. Played a beautiful, the penultimate shot into that corner. Now, was that a lob or was that a pass? Or neither? It doesn't really matter because, yeah, he didn't make a good fist of either one. Fairly unusual these days, Peter, to have two players, both one-handed backhands. This is excellent serving and mixing it up very fast. Well, he has a beautiful action. He's very fluid. No hitches at all. Gets his weight into the shot. I don't think we saw Lubicic hit one ground stroke that hard yesterday. An entirely different tactic against Thomas Johansson. That's a shot he brings off really quite often. Federer, perhaps, uh, 40, perhaps in all his glittering array of strokes, it's the one I admire most when he's very wide on the backhand and he cuts it back cross court. Gosh, what patience Federer has. And he never went very close to the lines, Federer. Oh, well, he's just he's having fun now. He's just stroking the ball smoothly as if it was a practice session.
first time we've seen him be at all impatient. That shot probably wanted to just be slid back across court again. Here's the point for two all. <laughs> two all it is. Two games on. And five hundred. Glasses of champagne, you think they'll order? Fifteen. Pretty rash, uh, pretty rash thing to say. I mean, he hasn't earned all that much. He's earned two and a half million uh, dollars. Lives in Monte Carlo. Yeah, maybe he's going to buy him tap water. Yeah, could be. Yes. <laughs> Well, Lubicic has a second look at this serve, but you'll see well, half on, half off. And that very definitely on. What an effortless service game that was by Federer. He leads 3 2 per set. He's mixing up his serve pretty well too. The serve and the speed. Bob Hewitt, of course, born in Australia, emigrated to South Africa, was a, a very good singles player in his own right, and perhaps, certainly, one of the very best doubles players of all time. Yeah, a great combination of uh, Hewitt and McMillan. You must have met them across the net many, many times. They were a great pair. Never spoke to each other, never socialized, never had dinner together, I don't think, through what's Toby. Great Great Looks as though he's enjoying that intervention, Mohamed Layani. A very difficult angle to spot whether that ball was in or out. Yeah, from the chair, anything on the line, I don't know. It's a nice clean action this is. And because of the smoothness of the action, the uh, serve is exemplary really. Lubicic looked a little bit dubious about that. Well, no, he's corrected the call. He's given the point to Federer. Well, that's 40. No, they're going to play a let. Yeah, the, his body language very much saying that he didn't agree. Good for him. Improved his humor. He was born there, Federer. Three games on. Fifteen. Players sometimes forget that it's quite a long way to the net when you get pulled that wide and you're going back wide. 
the net is a lot further away even when you're going over the low bit of the net it requires to be hoisted up a bit he's not amused with that shot at all it's right in his uh, repertoire Let's see if he is now. Well, it was a good first serve, but Lubicic will be disappointed at having missed it, I think. What do you know? Break point against Federer. It was a break point in the first game of the match against Federer. There we go. Often relies on that serve when he is uh, in some danger. Yeah, you're right. He wins a lot of points with the wide serve either way. <laughs> Great points against Federer, just get blown away in the wind. An ugly war going on, and at the age of 13, he departed, went to Italy with a crowd of other young players. And he, like, uh, not him, Lubicic, like Ancic, and so many other players, all the Swedes pretty well, living in Monte Carlo. No, second he hit that. In fact, almost before he hit it, there was a groan of disappointment from Federer. Very good serving. And Lubicic is doing a good job of altering the pace of the serves just a little bit. That's why Federer is sometimes having trouble with his timing. Yeah, yep, excellent service, Gaming. Three sets. Going to serve in volume, that's a rarity in this match. Wow, oh, that one got away.
Yeah, very good approach shot, really. Not hit too hard, giving himself time to get to the net. Yeah, that's bread and butter for Federer. You hit a lazy ball up high like that, short to his forehand, and kiss it goodbye. What a lovely backhand volley that was. Judged to perfection. Well, his new coach, Tony Roach, would have been proud of that one. Tony, of course, a part-time coach, Roger Federer. He's not here this week, but I think he's contracted to travel 12 weeks a year for the Grand Slams. The drive volley he plays also once or twice in a match. Beautiful shot. Going ahead with no breaks, 5-4. Oh, perfection. Well played. Yeah, and Lukic does a great job of capitalizing on the penetrating backhand. Ghosted in. Ah. We were talking on the changeover about Tony Roach and what he can do for Roger Federer. Don't forget Tony Roach was a former French Open champion. Uh, Certainly that's something that, that Federer would like to achieve. And, and he was a great servant volleyer. And that's something that, that Roger does well, but could probably improve. Pinpoint accuracy, cleaning the line. Yeah, and at this level, that's the sort of accuracy you need to be successful. Because if you miss that center line by 9 to 12 inches, a guy like Federer will return it.
few forehand errors creeping in here. And distinct danger now. Is this going to bring another gear from Federer? Three in a row. That never happened yesterday against Ancic. I'm not, sure if it's, I'm not sure if it's happened in his career. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just about. Well, he hasn't lost his serve this week. Is this the moment? to love. Incredible. Well, that's two shots he delivered right to the baseline, forcing half volleys out of Federer. Neither of which was successful. And he's oh. Yep. That shot of... Lubitsch was not good enough. Yeah, he had his chance. 15. Did well to make that one bounce. And Lubitsch mishit that backhand and got no penetration on it whatsoever. He got away with it. What a chance for Lubicic. Well, he was gifted a chance to stay in the point by Federer. He gave it right back. Seemed like a pretty nervy reaction once he got near the net from Federer. Nearly gave it away. 30 all. That's a terrific shot then from Federer. Well, Lubicic needs to collect himself now. Can't allow himself to suffer. A depression after being so close to wrapping up this first set. It's first break point against Lubicic. What a time to choose. That's a 
lovely shot. Real care gone into it. Yeah, and Federer did well. Forced the issue. And that was about the only shot Lubacic could hit and still stay in the point. Good enough. And what is your business? The tennis guards were staring down on that shot. Off the frame twice. Still managed to keep it in play. So finally we have a set point. Sorry about my mishits. I think lack of first serves in this uh, crucial game for Lubicic. Once again, Federer's forehand letting him down. A set point number two for the Croatian. Was out. And the first set does go to Lubicic in a very nervy fashion. But win it he does, 7-5. Yeah, lovely shot. And that's judgment at fault by Federer. see a lot of topspin on that forehand. Federer perhaps a little bit tight on that shot. Just get the feeling we might see Federer around the net area a little bit more. Because in the first set he did not uh, go to the net too often. He didn't frighten this man into any mistakes, really. He made a lot of mistakes, as Peter just said, on the forehand side. Far more than he did yesterday against Ancic.
Oh, that's a great shot. With the rhythm disturbed by the net cord, it really does. Really good. Well, you know, Bill, in, in the, his quarterfinal match against Davidenko the other day, Federer didn't really look as though he was hitting the ball that authoritatively. Against Ancic, he always had a target. Ancic always coming into the net. Yeah, I agree. And uh, I think that type of play really did seem to suit uh, Federer. He was in a fantastic groove. Whereas this uh, has been mixed up more. It's a clever game plan by Lubicic, I guess. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I think if Federer is playing his best, then it doesn't bother him at all. Because surely Federer, great off the ground, off both sides. But today, clearly having just a, a few problems on his forehand. Yep. The penultimate shot playing to uh, finish the point on the next shot. Well, yeah, but Lubicic goes for an interesting tactic here and nearly gets away with it. Just doesn't execute the volley well enough. Now, see, this is almost a drop shot. Reads the pass well and then, pff, oh, brick of a volley. fate of all for him. Oh boy, very tense point indeed. Yeah, I'm fascinated really at why Federer keeps rallying to Lubicic's backhand. It is his stronger wing by quite a ways. He has been beaten by Lubicic three times, and two of those three times, they were very long, tough three-set matches. The last time was in Basel, Baal, 6-7, 7-6, 4-6. -6. Pretty tight score. Once again, the rocket down the middle.
Oh, boy. Look at how flexible this guy is. And Federer, I think, must realize that now is the time that he steps his game up a level or so. That's a good shot from a low ball, not all that easy. Yeah, Lukacic did a good job keeping the return low. Federer, not enough with the volley. Interesting. Federer now almost views the net as a sanctuary. Aha! Uh -huh. First of the match. Maybe he's suddenly thought of it for the first time. Beautifully played. Plenty of hair, air underneath it. Plenty of backspin. It might be a hint to uh, Federer as well to use it more often. He's ahead with no breaks. 2-1. Now he must see this as a, a potential moment to change this match around. An early break and we might see uh, the real Federer. There we go again. Most of those very fast serves have been done from the other end to where he is at the moment. That insult to injury. <laughs> well, that 30 love lead or love 30 lead can vanish so quickly with serving like this. Uh, so clean. It's about the first time in the match that he's uh, achieved that on the backhand there, the off backhand virtually. It's a very good shot on the stretch, that volley. Absolutely was, because Federer did very well to track down this shot. And Lukacic could see that Federer was going to be in trouble, but still required a wonderful touch. Oh, 
correction from the chair there. Once again, risking getting it right, Mohamed Layani. Shot on the baseline. I always feel it's a very dicey one for the umpires to judge. Well, frustrating for Federer because he got the return in play, which has been very difficult for him today. And now Lubicic gets to fire down another first serve. A shot he should have made, and he knows it, of course. Well, yes, but to actually put that ball away against a guy as quick as Federer required Lubicic to, to hit a very precise spot near the line. And he doesn't come to net often enough to feel confident doing that, I don't think. Very good finish. Now, once again, the first serve setting up this short reply. Well, that serve remains an absolute menace. Well, it's almost as though this packed house is stunned. Yeah, it is, isn't it? They're not reacting all that much as they were after pretty well every point yesterday in the semi-final there with, uh, with Ancic. And they're really, really excited. This, I agree with you, Peter, they're sort of uh, sitting on their hands a bit here because they're watching something which they did not expect to see. Two all, second set. And I'm not sure if the new balls will help Federer here. Perhaps if he gets a few first serves in, it might. But off the ground, the additional lightness of the balls just might make his ground strokes fly even more. 15. It's more like it. He seems to be uh, serving in the moment with a little bit more precision, taking just that little bit longer before actually serving. Well, it's always nicer to serve with new balls, and perhaps that's just the tonic Federer needed. must be a relief to Federer to come through that game relatively unscathed.
That must be the seventh or eighth time he's hit that exact spot today. I think there's a hole there. We're going to have to dig it up. And it always was so frustrating to play against a guy like this who serves so huge, you just really don't get a sniff in any of his service games. There it is again. He actually loves going cross court on that, uh, in that situation. Yeah, and Lupicic trying the body serve for a change. And Federer did a great job at blocking it back low. Oh, that's beautiful pass on the half volley. Yeah, Lubicic did well. Just to reach that first one. Federer's hands, just exquisite. Almost invariably gets a clap, that. Piece of cake for the pros, just a little bit of timing. Very old. Now that could be a costly error. If that leads to a loss of a game, uh, that one there. forehand could be where the match got turned around. It's only the second break point in the second set. Both of them against this, this man. Well, that missed by quite a long way, a yard or two. It's just not happening for him today, and that shot is normally just bread and butter for a
And that serve comes to his rescue again. Now that's a bitter pill for Federer to swallow. Extraordinary events here, really. Let's not forget that Roger Federer has won his last 14 finals. He's not lost a final since July 2003. An incredible get on the backhand on that uh, serve from this chap. Well, he missed badly then. It was barely up, halfway up the net. In fact, it wasn't halfway up the net. Big error in timing that time, but it, it's pretty rare for a Lubicic to play a shot that poor. So Federer comes through another game. That wasn't easy either. Had to hang in there. Trying to blow the cobwebs out of the forehand, but just by smiting it so hard, really. That's pretty good play by Federer then. Uh, very clever backhand. Really, really took Lubacic out of court. Very, very little he could do with that.
Well, he served a marvellous bomb again, and uh, Federer did uh, a marvellous job to block it back safely to get it into court. Once he's got it into court, he's in business. He won the point, and here again is a point which might change things. It could be a watershed in the match, then it could fizzle out on the end of another great bomb from this man. So Federer gets it at this point, he'll serve for the set. Safe and a good smash from uh, the six foot four Croat. I say he's defended these break points with a very steady nerve and good play. Just not working for him, that forehand. was a defensive volley that Federer was forced to hit, but he plunked it right on the line. What's Federer doing? I mean, is he testing himself or testing Lubacic? Or well, in what sense? Well, he seemed to, he seemed to me to have uh, at least two chances to hit a ball into an empty backhand court. Yeah, and eventually, in the third attempt, he does. Seemed to me to be toying with Lubacic. Too good. Yes, well, Federer completely fooled by that miss hit just off the edge of the frame. Clever serve. Well, that surprised Lubacic, who thought it was wide, but it looked pretty good. And giving it his all.
I don't know what it is. He seems to be sluggish. He doesn't seem to be reading the direction of the Croat shots. Well, you know what it is, Bill. He's tentative. And any time you lose your confidence enough that, that it starts to affect you, are not sure of, of what you want to do, you're not sure how you want to hit the ball, it affects everything. It affects your movement. It affects your thinking process. Yeah, his return of serve seems to have vanished. Five all. Oh. Well, was that in? Yeah, perhaps just caught the edge. Lubicic had a point on that serve. That must make Phil Federer a bit better. A nice, clean, easy service game. Well, that's an excellent, excellent point by Federer. And the first sign of life from the crowd today. They'd like to see a third set. Come on, you guys. Oh, what a calamitous. He's done so many of those today. Mistimed forehands. What happened to Lupicic there? 15, as soon as the ball hit the net, he just quit on it. Yeah, he could have made it, surely, couldn't he? I think he? so, yeah. Went this one. That'll do it. Fifteen forty. Federer just smoothed this forehand down the line. Nothing extravagant.
Now, unless uh, Lubicic produces another two magnificent first serves, this might be where the whole thing turns around. Two set points. Well, there's one from his trusty down the middle. 13, and so, does he go out wide this time? <laughs> I'm going to guess down the middle again. I don't know. That did not miss by much. Well, would you believe it? All of a sudden, that tension filled set. My golly. I wouldn't mind seeing that again. Yeah, exactly. I thought that ball was in. Yep, me too. Plum on the line, I thought. It's the second in a row. And it appears that uh, there's a new, tech, uh, new tactical thinking going on in Federer's mind. Attack from the net more often. But you know, Billy, it doesn't matter what we think. In fact, it doesn't even matter whether the ball was in or not. The umpire said it was out, and that's all that matters. That's true. a lovely one-two very wide serve and then the uh, 14, 15, what looks like an easy put away but it never is yeah and no doubt Lubicic must be just a little bit worried right now the last thing he needs is for Roger Federer to go get into some sort of form Oh, that's tough because the shots before were massive. Absolutely massive hitting by this big, strong Croat. Love one. Federer has had the advantage, and it is an advantage towards the end of a set to be serving first each time. It's always the other man's got to catch up. Well, there's something in the mind there. They seem to be playing a bit angry. Yeah, well played. Very agile, the big man.
14-13. Once again, the miss hit from Federer gets him in trouble. Just not up to the ball as he would expect. And we really haven't seen Federer hit a lot of aces today. Well, he did well to get out of that. Well, he was aided by the very high net court. And actually, if Lubicic hadn't quit on that, he might have been able to track it down. He has not missed the drive volley, or what the Americans call sometimes the swing volley. Agassi is the man who plays that shot so well. Yeah, and Federer hits it with a lot of topspin. Doesn't actually drive it through the court quite as much as Agassi would. <laughs> Showing good form in this set so far, Federer. He'll be pleased with that. 2-1, no breaks. Good try. 59. Ulrich, on the other hand, has uh, every reason really to feel a bit tired. He's had long three-set matches all the way through up to the uh, semi-final, and then a very tough two-set match. Well, he frightened uh, Lubicic really into an error there. I mean, he careered to the net. Yes, and, and perhaps if Federer gets up an early break in this final set, then Lubicic will, uh, will start to fade because of his arduous week. But I think as long as he can remain on level terms, the adrenaline will carry him home. Just that amazing point. Incredible gets. Oh yeah, but Federer surely had to do better than this. Right here, put it away. 13-15. He let it drop too low though. And wasn't able to, to move in and, and hit his spot confidently. Oh. 
It's interesting to see Federer just slightly lose his temper after that last point. And that's probably the worst he's been this entire week. It's hard to imagine that in the juniors, he was known as a hothead. Broke a lot of rackets. A totally different man now. A lot of the top players were, in fact. I think, uh, I understand, Borg was. Ed Berg used to throw rackets up into the trees around the court sometimes. Ed Berg? What about you, Peter? Are you a hothead yourself? Oh, not me, never. No, of course not. No, no. Ridiculous of me to even suggest it. Yeah. Actually, Billy, on the ridiculous scale, that was a tamer. A tamer example. Oh, yeah, that crept over. Clever shot, though. Try to give him credit. And it goes ahead again, fairly easily, 3-2. got to be the point of the match. Yes, well, Federer made things so difficult on Lubicic with that dipping shot. The Croat stays in the point. And he just barely reached that smash. And from here, it's just, get the frying pan out. What can I do? <laughs> Well, cook up something good. And he did. Oh. The guy, the, the, uh, him, he shouldn't be wearing glasses, really. He's in a dangerous position. Yeah, he put a load of topspin on that, just pulled it down in time. 15. Yes, he did from that angle. It looked as though it might go wide right at the start. Sometimes, like then, he just tosses this ball fairly low in front of him and just gives it one almighty belt. Ah! Non-percentage. Good serving. That is in uh, in euros rather. But this man has fourteen and a half million dollars.
Uh, good play. Very good play. Well, he's earned $14 million in prize money. I have a feeling he has a whole lot more than that in his bank. Yeah, Federer runs through that forehand approach shot beautifully. Oh, uh, that's a beautiful shot. To produce an angle like that and change direction uh, actually takes a lot of doing. Yes, absolutely right. The sort of shot that we're used to seeing from Roger Federer. A very easy and very beautiful service game by Federer. <laughs> there. An amazing ritual goes into serving onto that exact spot. It's about 133 miles per hour. 13-15. In fact, that's the first point in this set on Lubicic's first serve that Federer has won. Risky shot to attempt. Well, thank God for the tiebreaker. We might be here all night. Maybe we should just fast forward to it right now. Well, join the tiebreak at 18 all, perhaps. Okay, every point of every, every shot of every point. Well, this is such good serving, isn't it? First serves in, variation there, speed and direction variation. And that, believe it or not, I reckon is his first double fault in this match. Big man having done, uh, I think it was three at the last count. Four. 
13. And he was 40 love. From 40 love to 40 30 doesn't exactly inspire you. That's a terrible call. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Mohammed got a little excited there. Oh, well, to be fair, that's a very difficult ball to call. Most of it was wide. Well, a nice clean finish by Federer, who goes ahead by the odd game to 5 4 final set. Four five. You can feel that Federer would like to just open his shoulders and swing away at a few ground strokes. But every time he does, he mishits it. Lubicic, on the other hand, very secure off the ground. Good change up. A slow kicker out wide. And it did the trick. Oh, beautiful play. Going behind Federer. Hasn't done that too often. 14. To say, Ivan Lubicic has been a revelation early this year. His improvement has been steady and strong. Fourteen fifteen. Just as Federer did in the game before, going from 40 love to 40 30. Beautiful backhand pass. It's a shot that uh, Federer loves to play. Juice. For a 40 love to Deuce. Don't let his calm exterior fool you. The adrenaline is pumping through Federer right now.
Well, Federer unleashes a bomb on the backhand. And that does bring up. No, oh, the ball was long. Well, well, well. Take it all back. Lubicic lives on. Well, the Croat dodged the bullet there. Five games Federer played that deuce point as about as well as he could, or certainly as well as he has today. Missed the backhand drive just by inches over the baseline. So back on an even keel, five all, final set. Like it. I must say, there have been quite a few calls, recent calls, which look just the opposite. Well, the good news is that this man is coming into some form right now. Looks like both players are, for the first time in this match, playing well together. Just the occasional mistake on the forehand. Lubicic on the backhand has been safety, safety all the way through, really. Game Go to the head with a beautiful serve, 6 5, final set. First point, so crucial in any service game for the receiver. Just gives you that little extra belief when you get up love 15. Fifteen. <laughs> Quickly washed away by that serve down the middle again, which he does more often from the deuce court.
He really hasn't missed much on that backhand. Well, he missed a high backhand, put away a volley earlier in the match. There's a high, back, high forehand. Now then, he needs his best serving right here. Pedro just two points away. He just can't buy uh, two winners in a row. That's a nice start to get. Old Faithful. The serve that Federer would rather hit than any other serve in the court. So is he going to go for his uh, Faithful recipe? Down the middle. Plenty of good ones wide as well though. And the chip return just sat there. All credit to Lubacic, though, for taking that one on. Down the middle, this side. Well played. I never thought in a million years he would hit that ball out of the air. And perhaps Federer didn't expect it either. Very accurate, very strong nerves. Well played. 
Beautiful play. Yeah, and that short forehand got Federer in trouble. Lubicic hits ever so well. To keep that volley away from him. By virtue of the single break of the uh, mini break of the Federal serve. Lubitsch 3-2 and then a change of ends. He dumps his break. They're back on terms. Oh. Had cement in his boots getting up to that low ball. That was an opportune break for Federer. Before the chasm appeared between the two players. 3-4. Too good, no call. That was, I hope that one was out. Please, it must have been out. Surely you saw it out too, right? I'm not saying. I'm sitting on the fence there. My first impression was it just clipped the line. Yeah, I'm with you. Edging ahead, but on serve, 5-4, Federer. 5-4, Federer. Which makes this next point absolutely key point. If he doesn't hold this point, of course, he's giving away two match points. Terrific, pugnacious play by Federer. 